Hello, Think Keto family. Welcome back. It's great having you with me today. So on today's agenda, I'm going to be making with you ranch dressing. And now what is more perfect than ranch? You can put it on your salad. You can use it as a dip. You can put it on your pizza if you're like me. If this is your first time with us, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. Well, let's get started, guys. Before I get started, I just want to remind you that everything I'm using today is going to be listed down in the description below. And then at the end of the video will also be a macronutrient breakdown so you know what to expect with this recipe. And also I'm going to be linking the website where I got this from so you can go check that out because she also, as well as giving you the ingredients for the dried herbs, she also gives you the ingredients for the fresh in case you've got a garden going. You can chop up some fresh herbs to put in this. Sounds great, right? Alright guys, so we're going to get started. We have a cup of heavy whipping cream here. And this is what we're going to use to basically make the buttermilk base for our ranch dressing. And to that we're going to add a tablespoon of white vinegar. Alright, so we'll give this a quick stir. Get it all together. And then we're going to let this sit for 5 to 10 minutes so it can do its thing. All right, guys, so this buttermilk has thickened up nicely, so it's time to start putting everything together and let the magic happen, right? So here I have three quarters of a cup of sour cream, um, full fat sour cream, whatever brand you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and add the buttermilk to it. Now, alternately, if you don't want to mix this in a bowl, you can have a little fun with it, especially if you got kids around that want to help, and you can um, put this in a mason jar, and you can add the ingredients in, slap the lid on, shake it up, you know, have some fun with it. I get a teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm just going to whisk all that together or shake if you prefer. All right, that is all mixed together now. Next comes the, all the spices that just make this really come to life, right? So in this little bowl, I have quite a few spices, okay? I'm going to try and get them all right, but remember it's going to be listed down below. And what I type out will be correct in case I say something wrong, okay? So in this little bowl, I have two teaspoons of dried parsley, one teaspoon of dried dill, one teaspoon of dried chives, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and I'm gonna be cracking a half a teaspoon of black pepper into the bowl, um, and I'm gonna crack it into this little one because it can get messy. And if you know me, I always add no salt, so I also have a half a teaspoon of no salt in here. That is optional, but with the potassium content it has, I always recommend you throw it in your food. So we're going to put all this in our bowl and whisk it all together. Let's get the black pepper in. Half a teaspoon of this, give or take a little bit. I eyeball it because I'm cracking it by hand. That looks about right. Alright, let's whisk it all in. Alright, so that is all mixed together. Now, actually, my daughter likes it if I add just a little bit of sweetness to this. You can add you know, a teaspoon or two of whatever your sweetener of choice is, if you wish. You don't have to do that, but you can use your stevia among for anything like that. I would say a powder would go better than a granular in this, because granular might not dissolve completely. But now this is a nice, thick, creamy consistency. I mean, it just coats the whisk here. It's really quite wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I have a cute little jar here. I picked this up at, I think it was Hobby Lobby for like $2, and I put a label in the front so I can you know, put on there what it is. I'm hoping it's not too thick to go through my funnel. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in my jar with the funnel and then this stores in the refrigerator for, you know, a week to 10 days or so. Nothing keto seems to store very long, but it's about two cups of ranch dressing. So, I mean, really, how long is it actually going to stick around the house, right? And that is it. It is all bottled up and ready to go. I'm going to stick this in the fridge, like I said, for the next seven to 10 days, but it is not going to last that long. This ranch dressing is unbelievably delicious. Um, it gets even better after it sits in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Um, if you can let it sit for up to 24 hours before you use it, at that, that point is where all these flavors really meld together and they just blossom into this wonderful, wonderful um, flavor profile. Alright guys, it was great having you with me today. Please try this recipe out. Chances are you already have everything on hand. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up down below if you learned something from this video. And please feel free to share this with anybody that you know that can use a great recipe for a really delicious ranch dressing. Until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.